Hello everyone, um, Eli again here, I'm just getting in the shower, but I thought I'd show you guys how I took off all my awesome stuff, so, I do have pants on. Let's see if I can set this up. I'm just putting stuff in the trash back over here. Today's not going to be a real long video, but I'm going to try to give you guys a video. Um, I throw that on the shower floor and then I wash it during my shower. Sorry if there's too much background noise with the fan. Um, So, um, a different day, I'm going to shower with underwear on that way. I can show you guys how I clean this, but today I don't have any underwear to do that with. So, I will show you guys more at a later time. I'll show you in a little bit, uh, me getting my belly done. Getting my belly done means putting new Oscar stuff on. So, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Thanks. Hello again, everyone. Um, so, I'm out of the shower now. So I'm going to start doing my belly. We use this stuff here. Okay, I can't turn the camera around. We use this stuff right here um, to make the ostomy wafer stick and the um, the Combatech disc. Let's see what those look like here in a minute. That box is empty. Got another full one here. <clears throat> My belly's been leaking a lot lately. So I just have the supplies set up on my floor along with the rest of the mess. But this is the ostomy wafer. This is the packaging for the Compatite disc. That's the Compatite disc. These are protective white backings for it. That's the Compatite disc. I would take off both sides, but then my oils from my fingers would get on them. So then I take these two here. And I line the holes up with each other to make sure that my uh, um, my Mickey button goes through the hole. You just have to line them up. And try not to get any wrinkles with this, because if you get wrinkles, there's a possibility it could make it leak. So, now when I start doing my belly, I'm not going to be able to talk much, because um, if I do, I'll leak, and if I leak, it won't stick, and then I'll have to get another shower. So, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's chunky.
you know, those are together. Sometimes we do it uh, where we stick the or stick the Convitec disc on first, then we stick that on. Sometimes we put them together beforehand. I personally put them together beforehand because it's easier for me. I can do it both ways, but it's a lot easier if you do it this way when you're doing it by yourself. If you have someone like a home care nurse like I have um, that helps me with it, um, really does it for me on the bad days when it's really bad and I can't deal with it. Um, but... <clears throat> But, um, I forget what I was going to say. But anyways, so, oh, uh, just that, uh, I put these together when I'm doing it by myself. And then when we're doing it with two people, we do it both ways. So, it doesn't really matter. Either way, works just fine. Um, then I'll be using a lot of people call split gauze. I call them two by twos. Got enough of those. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film and do this at the same time. I will do my very best. We will see what happens. <clears throat> so I got benzoline, got that. All right, now I need an Austin bag. That's my Austin bag. I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera because I can't see the camera. But forget all the trash and all the hair all over the floor. That's the Austin bag. That's the other side of it. These tabs are for a strap, but I don't use that strap for whatever reason. So, sorry if I flipped the camera too quick. So, but then the bag clips on to the wafer. I'm not going to do it right now, but that's how that works. You saw me take it off. It's just a reverse process for putting it on. So, now it's time to do my belly. I need to get some water and a syringe. And I will be right back. Also, we use 10 ml slip tip syringes for getting the water in and out of the balloon. In my JTube site, um, some people call it an ostomy. Um, I use 3 mls in my JTube site, which is what I'm putting the dressing on. I use 8 mls because otherwise I pull the tube out. So that's what I do personally. Your doctor might tell you different. It just depends on your situation. <clears throat> I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get uh, some water. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the 10 mLs of water in the syringe, or eight mLs, sorry. Um, so then you just take it in and it inflates just like that and at like my fingers are between the inside of my stomach and um the outside of your stomach like your skin um it inflates so you can't pull it out no matter how hard you try i mean if you pull really super hard you can rip it out and it hurts it hurts even worse in the j site but g site some um, it's it doesn't hurt as much um now like when i ran into the gator the other day taking the cows out to the pasture because we do have farm animals um we i uh, slammed it pretty hard and it hurt but so I'm just deflating the balloon. Usually I don't fill up the balloon before, but I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like for those who might be watching this for the first time.
Okay, got the pillows, got... I use pillows to help me do my belly because it's hard on my neck otherwise. You'll see. Um... So, I got the pillows, got the 2x2s, got the Osmi bag, the wafer, tape, the syringe, benzoin. Oh, and by the way, this benzoin stick, swab, whatever you want to call it, um, it has 77% alcohol. Try rubbing 77% alcohol on a third degree burn. That's what it feels like. In case you have never done that, it's probably the worst pain you'll ever feel. It's kind of like sticking 77% al alcohol in a gunshot wound or in an open cut on your leg or something. So, I'm not saying cut yourself or anything, but if you ever get a cut and you put alcohol in it, then you'll know how it feels. And then you'll feel my pain, essentially. Not to be dramatic or anything. Alright. So. Now. I'm going to try to set this up. So you guys can see. I'm going to move you guys over to the other side. Because you'll be able to see it better. Rest of you guys out, I understand. This is all stomach acid that's coming out. So the hydrochloric acid that breaks down all your food, that's what comes out and does this all the time to my skin. And when it leaks for periods of time and it just sits there, it does this. If it leaks and I take care of it right away, it doesn't do that as much but sometimes I don't get to it right away for many different reasons I'm not going to list right now <coughs> and when you go to cough always cover your hole be very blunt always cover the hole because otherwise it'll squirt stomach acid all out over this all oh, squirt stomach acid out all over this and it will hurt really really bad it does so <clears throat> oh. i don't know what i did with that swab stick so i'm gonna get an oh there it is Never mind. i was gonna say i was gonna get another one out but oh and with these sticks they don't typically um where they say to tear them right here where they have a little slit or slight cut in them if you tear them up there you will not get the stick they um depending on the very specific packet that you open all packets are a little bit different um in terms of how long the stick is for whatever reason um if you want to be able to grab a hold of the stick, make sure that you tear it a little bit below. So you might have to start it up here with these Alpi care. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and don't open them upside down like this. Make sure that everything's to the bottom. Shake it if you need to to ensure that because this does not come out of clothing. Once it's stained betadine color, it stays betadine color. It will never come out. I had it happen one time, and it ruined a brand new dress shirt. And I still have that in my closet right now, actually. So, don't spill this on fabric. It will never come out, ever. We've tried peroxide we've tried bleach we've tried bluing we've tried pretty much everything and nothing works so 
we've been, we've been asked the hospital and they don't have anything that we're aware of. So then I just tear it on both sides of the stick and you'll be able to feel the stick in there in the center. I just pinch it on the top, pull till that right there comes off, set this aside, don't let it touch anything that is fabric. If it's plastic, like the box I'm resting my phone on right now that you guys are watching on, if it's plastic, you can get it to come out eventually, but if it's fabric, you'll never get it to come out. Carpet, anything that is cloth-like material um, or similar will not come out. Plastic and hard surfaces, it does occasionally. Painted surfaces like a 2x6, it will not come out of either. So, <clears throat> okay, I might have to stop talking now. So, if I start groaning a lot, it's because it hurts really bad. So, you don't get it on there really well no matter how bad oh no matter how bad it hurts you will not have a good connection and then you'll be doing this in about five minutes sometimes immediately after sometimes we get it on there doesn't stick at all and we have to rip it off as soon as we get it on hmm And yes, you can keep redipping it as long as you don't touch anything that's not your body. It's not a completely sterile thing. I mean, the package is sterile, but. Yeah. Okay. I stuck that in the box next to me where it will not be able to fall over. So now I'm gonna take this piece off here. And what I do, it might not be recommended by anyone else, but what I do is I stick my finger through it and I stick my finger on the hole here. And then that's how I center it. Usually people look down through this hole right here to center it, sorry, point with the other finger. Um, look down through this hole to center it on my hole out like my fingers the hole um, but I can't look down obviously so I'm doing it this way just get it pressed down real good because if you don't again it will leak and then all that acid goes all over your belly and it will hurt like crazy I don't know if that's a good angle or not. 
hopefully it is. There's a wrinkle, but it's fine because it's at the top. And cross your fingers and knock on wood three times. Hopefully it doesn't leak out the top. It doesn't usually, but then again, it, yeah, it, it just depends on the day. And this video won't be out for a few days, so today is January 13th, 2021, at about 8.25 p.m., or, yeah, 8.25, 20.25 for people that know military time. I might reference a lot of military time on this channel. Um, I'm just picking the hair off because some hair got on this. So, if you don't know military time, I will try to reference regular time, but if I don't always, I'm sorry in advance. Okay, so then you just stick this in the hole, hold it there, get the syringe with the 8 ml of distilled water. Distilled water works best through my J-tube, and that's just what I had on hand. So then you just Worth the 8 mils in. I know the camera angle is not optimal, but I'll deal with that later. So then, you just now with these bags, and I will show it to you better in a minute. Um, there's a little hole, a little perforation down inside the bag, and I will show you that as soon as I'm done here. Um, that you have to get the tube through otherwise if you don't you won't be able to get the bag on and i will show you how the tube is through there as soon as i get it snapped in if i don't get it snapped in then it'll also leak all over okay all done now i don't know if you can see that seam or not and the tube there but there's a little hole in there you see that little u-shape there i have one right there where the tube is going that is called a and called a anti anti-reflex valve is so basically all your barf that's in this bag um, that the phone up. basically all the barf that comes out through the hole goes down in here goes through I'm gonna poke my finger through one of these holes down here if I can So, just like my fingers poke down through there, all the liquid goes down through there into the bottom part. And then, hopefully, it does not go back up. All that barf, it, that anti-reflux valve there is designed to, if you, for instance, lay down. This is me laying on my back, essentially, or on my stomach. Keep in mind, this is on my stomach. Um, that keeps all the stuff from coming back up through into this little thing, coming out of the bag, into my stomach, and then reburning everything and eating away at the dressing. Um, so that is what that anti-reflux valve is for. Also, when you take the bag off and you go to throw it away and you, let's say you lay it on the counter, you just lay it on the counter like this, out like my hand's the counter, then it will keep it from coming out. Because like I said, if you throw up your lunch or your dinner or water or whatever is in your stomach, if you throw it up in the toilet, that's basically the same thing. So, I'm sorry if that's disgusting. I'm just being very truthful to you. 
So, but that is my last thing. So, I will be editing this video tonight or tomorrow, and hopefully, it will be out in the next few days. So, all right, you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.